Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, is there such a thing as empirical reality? Someone brought this term to my attention at one point, and it piqued my interest because the word empirical is usually used to represent a method of gaining information, the empirical method, which involves observation and experience as opposed to logic and theory. For example, there's empirical knowledge, which is any information gained through our senses or through some scientific experiment. Methods like deduction and mathematics don't produce empirical knowledge because those types of knowledge are abstract. Many people today put more stock in empirical knowledge for a variety of reasons, but there's no good reason to. It's not more reliable and no easier to verify than logical or mathematical knowledge. It just depends more on the senses, which in a way makes it less reliable. While we get most of our data through our senses, sense data can never be known with 100% certainty as logical and mathematical truths can be. That leads us to the other side of things, reality. Reality is usually defined as an actual state referring to things as they really exist rather than a mere ideal or notion of those things. In short, reality refers to how things really are as opposed to just how we're perceiving them. Since the word empirical refers specifically to how we gain information and the word reality refers specifically to not how we gain information, we'd really have to have a good reason to put them together. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a very good reason. I've seen an article that talked about empirical reality, but it was just referring to a philosophical study of how many things are mind-independent in the view of René Descartes. A very unreliable website used this term, but was only referring to the reality that can be deduced from repeatable observations of the senses, meaning, rather, the parts of reality that can be discovered through the senses, since the senses don't deduce anything, properly speaking. So, on the whole, a thing can be empirical, or it can be reality, but it doesn't seem that it can be both. Next, is the Bible sufficient? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.